Resha Owiti. Let's begin with the never-ending Jubilee Wars where the Registrar of Political Parties has ratified the expulsion of Jubilee Party Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni and the party's Vice Chairperson David Murave from the party for gross misconduct. The party's Treasurer Kagwe Gishohi has been suspended over the same allegations. The decision follows resolutions of the National Executive Council meeting held by the Iala legislator Kanini Kega-led faction in Naivasha. Meanwhile, the political party's disputes tribunal has however issued orders stopping any action against the trio. And as KTN's political affairs reporter Emmanuel Tor now explains, the ousted members have threatened to call for mass action in protest. Just a day after the National Delegates Conference of the Jubilee Party, which sought to close ranks in the former ruling party, it seems the wrangles are far from over, with the differences escalating further. Monday, the Registrar of Political Parties, Andy Ritu, ratified the expulsion of the besieged Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni and Vice Chairperson David Morade, while the party's treasurer, Kagwe Gishohi, was suspended. The resolution to kick out the trio was passed during the National Executive Council meeting held in February in Naivasha, which the registrar maintains was done properly and according to the party constitution. We do not make decisions for political parties. It's political parties that sit down, come up with decisions. What we do is to regulate the manner in which that is done uh, so that uh, those decisions are then following their party constitution and they are following uh, the Political Parties Act and, and other laws. Kioni has now promised to lead demonstrations across the country as well as seek legal redress at the political parties dispute tribunal to challenge the decision of the registrar political parties. Sasa ni wakati wa wanachama wa jubilee kujisaidia. Na jia kujisaidia ni kutoka twende kwa barabara kuhakikishia yes, kwamba chama ambacho kimeudwa kwa muda hakuna mu, hakuna ile kinaweza kikanunua kika makubumro na wengine. We have done what we have done. We have done the legal bit of it. We will now do the politics of it. These letters have been received at a protest because they have just come in and we will certainly move, to move the court to ensure that again any decision that has been made by our PP uh, is uh, nullified. However, it is the ruling by the political parties dispute tribunal that has led to more confusion in the whole circus with the Desmond Nungo led tribunal in a letter dated 22nd of May barring Anne Derito from expelling the members. Derito's decision was delivered three days prior. You might want to ask yourself why the letter dated 19th of May is being served at the registrar's office at 2.20 p.m. on the 23rd of May. What is the reason? It's the mischief the registrar is perpetrating to defeat the order. We served all those people uh, affected by that decision through email. You are not aware that there were orders, but uh, the decision uh, about uh, the removal of the members was made on Friday. So to us, we, 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 we have not acted uh, against the law because we made the decision before, uh, before the orders. So that's leave it as a, as a court process from there, what the court will say and determine our decision. Derito, however, clarified that the Jubilee leadership remains as is, except for the three affected officials, with the retired President Uhuru Kenyatta retaining his seat as party leader. The RPP also dealt another blow to the Kenyatta-led wing, terming the National Executive Council meeting held by the faction to kick out Kega and his renegade colleagues as lacking quorum. According to the Jubilee Party Constitution, the council quorum is nine members. The wrangles now escalate as the former president vowed to fight tooth and nail to protect his party from a coup. Emmanuel Tor, KT News, Nairobi.